Okay, in the last class, we taken this example of this again level dynamics, which means uh, there is a tank and uh, inflow and outflow, and uh, how does the uh, height varies for any changes in inflow and outflow that were represented in the form of the equation. At last, it is a yeah, first order differential equation. Okay, now again, uh, and uh, in that we discussed uh, this. Uh, RS, we introduce a new terminology that is called as uh what is it deviation variable the uh, no two two minutes of hour varana janmal i will uh, stop this admitting people okay so the maximum time another uh, by another three minutes by 8:45 i will stop this uh, admitting students mudiya janmal solunga there is because it is creating problem for me in the sense uh, uh, this uh, manually admitting students is again creating problem i cannot continue with the class in a normal way okay see so here uh the differential equation is a the screen of the thing yeah and i'll uh, take this yeah here so this uh, equation which is inflow minus outflow is a linear function of catch we have simply taken a linear function of catch function of catch the original relation is actually slightly non linear but for simplicity there is uh, because we are going to introduce a laplace transformation for this uh, function of catch Uh, to have a linear function, or uh, is Laplace transform for linear functions are easily readily available, or is for non-linear things it is creating problem. Okay, uh, this uh, output, uh, this R is derivative, uh, this uh, input minus output equal to accumulation. This is dv by dt. So we have this, and uh, we know the relation between this catch uh, and the flow. Uh, and we have introduced a deviation which variable, which is uh, the variable value minus its initial steady state. So, which is uh, give, making us uh, simpler in what way? Uh, because of that, uh, this derivative, wherever the derivative are appearing in the final equation, we can simply uh, substitute this s h of s. So, always wherever derivative is there, simply multiply that with s, and for h we can take h of s. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, what we are supposed to do is, in addition to this, yes, such a phase, you also should have this. Uh, what is it? Uh, the initial value of uh, f of uh, f of h uh, of zero also you should take. So h of zero need not be zero no? because initial uh, height. Whereas by using this deviation variable, which is h, uh, this h of zero is simply zero. What is h? H is um, Hatch is hatch minus hatches. So I at initially hatch will be also hatches. So hatches minus hatches is zero. So always hatch of hatch at initial time is zero. So because of that our uh, convert always our problem is very simpler in converting uh, this differential to lap uh, Laplace. So this a r will be a simple constant. So a r will be available. And in place of d h by d t we have s hatch of s, and hatch is simply changed into That's of s, and f i is also a variable, so f i is ten s, f i of s. Here f i is a function of time. Here f i does is a function of uh, this uh, Laplace term algebra. So we can rearrange this. So how do you rearrange? We want to have this in, in output by input form. Catch uh, of catch is the output variable of importance, which is the height height of the uh, uh, tank. கொஞ்சம் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வரைக்கு வரதெல்லாம் கிளாஸ் எல்லாம் ஸ்டாப் பண்ணுங்க பாய் இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் மீட்டிங் ஆல் நவ் இதுக்கு மேல யாரும் வரல யூ ப்ளீஸ் வெயிட் என்ன பண்ணலாம் இப்போ அதுக்கு ஈவன் ஐ கேன் நாட் டு ரிமூவ் திங் ஆல்சோ ஓகே சோ திஸ் இஸ் गिविंग यू அவுட்புட் பை இன்புட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆர் திஸ் அவுட்புட் இஸ் ஹச் ஐ ஹச் தேர் இஸ் ஹவ் டஸ் தி ஹைட் வெரிஸ் அண்ட் இன்புட் வேரியபிள் ஆஃப் இம்பார்டன்ஸ் இஸ் தி இன்ஃப்ளோ whereas the original differential equation uh, you cannot write this uh, in output by input form here what is output output is uh, h and input is fi uh, in addition we also have a derivative uh, by using laplace transform we could write this uh, relation simply output by input uh, so always how does the output varies for any change in input so this is uh, whereas for the steady state system uh, you can easily write this output by input you can easily write there is for unsteady state 
by using laplace transformation and using deviation variable uh, we are having a nice uh, equation uh, which we call it as uh, we will say that uh, uh, we will say something called as transfer function and other thing before that we also seen one more example which is uh, the dynamics of thermometer so this uh, initially the thermometer is say at the steady conditions say at, at, at ts and which is also equal to uh, t infinity ts uh, and uh, suddenly we are uh, putting this thermometer into a fluid uh, which is available at a temperature of say t infinity and how long or uh, how long the uh, time is taking for this t infinity and t to match or is uh, uh, how much time we have to wait so that the thermometer is showing the actual fluid temperature so that is what is the problem uh, for that we obtain the we have made this uh, energy balance which is energy in the uh, thermometer bulb is coming from is convection convection is h h is the convection the current uh, convection heat transfer equation for the fluid outside and a is the area of the bulb and uh, t infinity it is a fluid temperature and t is the temperature of the, of the thermometer bulb so there is a heat in and there is no heat out or is uh, heat is not going out of this uh, uh, thermometer only simply heat is supplied inside uh, so there is your heat out is zero and a rate of uh, change of uh, energy of the thermometer bulb is mcb into dt by dt so this again we introduced deviation variable uh, which is uh, simply the initial very uh, values of this t and t, uh, t infinity initially the t and d infinity everything are supposed to be the same uh, but uh, the thermometer upon putting the into the fluid uh, of a, a different uh, what is it t infinity uh, initially say the thermometer is surrounded by say the so suppose you are having a ambient of 30 and fluid uh, the surround thermometer bulb is in a put it in a ambient and suddenly the fluid temperature is changed to Yeah, different T infinity. So we are simply measuring using thermometer to measure the thermo uh, temperature of the fluid or the object of importance. Okay, yeah, the final uh, resulting equation is also a simple, simply a differential equation which is having uh, this form. We need to have a person the thermal at whatever the time. No? Now I could understand the uh, time at which people are coming. Okay. So again, the final equation is uh, quite uh, similar to that of the level dynamics. Here we have a different equation. Uh, in, uh, now we can summarize uh, these two. Of course, I thought of giving one more example, but will not be able to take time. So maybe we'll. Good. Okay, here we do that example. Then we'll summarize. Uh, we'll generalize. Hmm? Before generalizing, we'll take one more example. So we think we are still the time to today's. Now we are entering to today's class. About twenty minutes over. Hmm? So first February, no. We'll take one. First February twenty twenty one. So twenty twenty one will be one uh, unit uh, or still the tank heater. Yeah, there is a tank, okay, which is stirred, and assume there is no flow. There is some condensed inside available, which is at a temperature of T. We are supplying uh, steam, uh, which is entering at sorry, uh, which is. Entering at uh, which is uh, at a temperature of T S T. Hmm? So because of this, there is a heat flow. Uh, we can make energy balance. How does energy balance will look like? This energy, the average rate of heat transfer given by this steam is U into the area of the heating contents, area of the heating coil. No, H refers to area of the heating coil multiplied by T S T minus T. There is a rate of heat supply by the Uh, this uh, steam, uh, which is going to alter the energy content of the tank, which is M C P dt by dt. M M M, which is M C P 
dt by dt so uh, this is rate of heat in and this is a uh, uh, energy accumulation so these two uh, have to be equated so and the in place of m again you can replace with v and uh, v and rho so i'm going to do that v rho cp dt by dt there is we are making one more model so that we'll uh, upon uh, making this model we will again try to generalize these things by the end of this hour at least you should be in a position to uh, get some new terminology of uh, this common systems in chemical engineering okay that's a target we are uh, aiming for class le pethana beda kittara or 52 students are available okay oh, which is equal to uh, you uh, simply have ये खर्चा ये है चीज फॉर की ट्रांसफर एरिया ये का चिंत टी एस टी है या दिस इज टी एस टी माइनस यू ये खर्च इनटू टी नो दिस इज अ इक्वेशन वी हैव अगेन वी कैन रीअरेंज टू अ कन्वीनिएंट फॉर्म दिस वी रो सी पी प्लस यू ये खर्च टी सॉरी गाइस i should also have some more time oh, wait a minute i clear this class follow panikla pa okay suppose ellar uh, pa class kavani kirikinga nenikiren dt by dt we are service we are grouping the variables of uh, t and tst that's what we are doing equal to u a h t s t uh, are you able to understand the variables so, so a h refers to the heat transfer area Uh, which is the coil area, no? Pi d, all of the coil. And uh, where now? Okay, U refers to the heat transfer coefficient between the, uh, or is overall heat transfer coefficient uh, for the heat transfer. That you know, the, I don't, I need not uh, elaborate on that. And V is the tank contents volume of the tank contents. C P is the specific heat of the tank contents. So again, rearrange. to better form like uh, yeah we can v let's use this area as well the left side area nare use panna varukom v rho cp by u a h uh, dt by dt plus t equal to uh, yeah that is simply t s t again we can make use of the deviation variable so at initial conditions uh, this is your first equation and uh, we can uh, substitute or uh, is at in its at steady state at uh, t, t will be simply tst or uh, t of s equal to tst of s so in, uh, you can substitute let us subtract this one and two one minus two will give you uh, this uh, equation before that we can have a deviation variable defined which is t minus ts this uh, subscript s refers to Or is it initial steady state temperature? Likewise, T S T minus T S T dash. Sorry, T S T S. Ah, uh, T T S T S uh, is uh, taken as a new variable, but which is T S T dash. Okay. So these these two are the thing we have in the new variables. General what is called as deviation variables. So deviation variables uh, are is deviation. Sir, I think you've muted yourself, sir. You can't hear. Sir. Sir. Sir, we can't hear you, sir. So Can you see sir's uh, video? See his video can't hear.
Sir, you've muted yourself, sir. We can't hear. Yeah, yeah, we found them. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, there is uh, some problem with uh, our Wi-Fi signal was slow and uh, the board yeah. the data are level. I'm again connecting. Thanks. Thanks for one minute. Uh, yes, yes, sir. We can hear. Ah, thank you. Okay. Again, I am connecting this uh, iPad. Hmm? Yes, sir. I am connecting this iPad. iPad and the cable are not available. உங்களுக்கு <laughs> Of course, uh, no need to worry this uh, in the uh, Pagi class or lectures alone, I already recorded you know, during our uh, gate classes. That's why you can see the time record. That's why you can see the Pagi series in the Pagi series. 3, 8, 0, 9, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10
So we can compare these three equations. One is for the heater, another for the thermometer, and for level system. The moon is the general equation, for example. But all these three things are what is called first order differential. We will say it's first order because first order derivative is available, which is the d y by dx. And uh, okay, let's let us keep this thing. Come back here. So we have uh, we can write a first order differential. So we can write a first order uh, equation like. So we can have a first order differential equation a1 dy by dt plus a naught y equal to b into x. Okay, that is we are going to generalize these uh, systems uh, and give some uh, convenient terminologies. So yeah, we can I will rearrange this again a1 by a naught. Uh, equal to a1 by a naught into dy by t2 plus y equal to uh, b by a1 na a naught okay yes so uh, this are uh, this thing these three equations are quite similar to the uh, this usual first order differential equation and uh, again we'll uh, have some more variables introduced. Yeah, use a highlighter. Uh, this, these groups, uh, we can uh, uh, introduce in place of this uh, the ratio. We'll have, we'll introduce new variables. It is called as, uh, of course, this, uh, this group uh, will have a unit of uh, time. You know, this is some variable of importance of output and the input. Uh, this is a Time, uh, time, dt is a time variable. So, you get uh, the in, in to multiply this, we'll be having a group here. No? So, this tau p, always we'll have a time uh, variable, what is called as tau p, which is time constant. No? Tau p into dy by dt plus y equal to, and uh, in place of this b by a naught, we'll have a constant term, what is called as a gain time, it, it will be called as gain, which is again having this substitute of P, KP refers to the process gain. So why do we call as gain and all? We will uh, understand it shortly. Mm -hmm. So this is a general differential equation in terms of this process control variable uh, terminologies like uh, tau P, what is called as time constant and uh, this KP it is called as uh, gain. Simply gain. Gain is simply a multiplication factor. Uh, why do we call this gain? Means in uh, gain, it is also called as steady state gain. Of course, uh, uh, we can easily understand this uh, terminology steady state gain. So at steady state, this d over by dt will be zero because the, the steady state means uh, the dynamics are dying out and uh, conditions are not changing with time. So at that condition, we'll be having simply y equal to uh, kp into x. So now we can we can easily understand uh, what is kp. That is uh, y is called as uh, gain. Uh, y is the output and x is the input. So uh, the output is getting multiplied by kp times uh, over the input. So output by input is simply the gain terminology gain. And uh, tau p is uh, having the role of this uh, is, it is having the unit of time it is called as time constant we'll, uh, we, can, we can understand this technology uh, with uh, numerics as well in the coming uh, topics i'm only to worry now so again we'll uh, simply convert this differential equation into uh, lap, uh, by using laplace transform uh, before that normally we used to have a deviation variable introduced uh, assume now this whatever the y we have, whatever the variable we have is simply 
in terms of deviation variability. So uh, because of that, we can now, now simply uh, take this Laplace transform. Always, uh, what is the Laplace transform for the derivative now here? Dp uh, tau p is remaining as tau p, and in place of dy we have s y of s, and uh, Laplace transform of variable y is simply y of s multiplied by kp, and Laplace transform of x is x of s. Uh, of course, this direct conversion is uh, easily possible for derivative if the variable y and the x are simply deviation variables. Assume that way. Uh, always don't uh, let us not introduce some more variables uh, and uh, take that. So, always whatever we have, these are all simply deviation variables. Uh, and since uh, the, because of that, we can simply write this dy by dt as s into y of s. And y, s, y is simply y of, y of s, and x is simply x of s. This can be now rearranged. In what way this uh, rearrangement will uh, do that? This tau p s plus one multiplied by y of s equal to k p into x of s. So uh, what is output? Output is y of s and uh, input is x of s. Equal to k p by tau p s plus one. Okay. So this is what is called as a uh, uh, new terminology that is called as transfer function of the system. So I'll write that. How much time left? Let me check that. Another about 20 minutes. No? Uh, not only that, uh, even we are, we are going to meet again in the third hour. Transfer function of the system. Why it is called as transfer function and all? Will be, uh, has to be explained. There is this uh, group, no? this ys by xs, this right side, this is simply, this is the transfer function of the first order system. This is the first, the, whatever we have seen on first order system, there is the dynamics of the system is represented by a first order equation. And uh, this group is called as the transfer function. Uh, why it is called as? Because this output, which is y of s, is transferred by this group. No? That is the input multiplied by the transfer function is now the output. This is input is x of s and this is the transfer function. Uh, uh, this uh, input uh, multiplied by the transfer function is the output. Okay, that's why it is called as a transfer function. This transfer function, uh, function terminology will be quite often used in the class. That is most of the uh, topic of uh, uh, further topics. Okay, and uh, we can. Uh, uh, say some more thing about these uh, equations. So this is uh, an algebraic equation. So original equation is your differential equation. But because of this uh, Laplace transformation, now we have an yeah, algebraic equation. That is here we don't have any derivative up here. Uh, so this can be easily solved. Uh, that is we can easily understand this form of equation in, in place of, whereas this is quite involved. Of course, for first order, we can easily do the integration analytically, but for second and higher order with complex terms, which will be tougher. Whereas this kind of algebraic equation, no? this is simply a, a first order uh, algebraic equation. Second, uh, uh, the quadratic term will be having some uh, square term, square term for the S. Yes. Okay. Uh, one more person also entered. So the later we're having a class, uh, Dakshin Sravan has joined just now. Hmm? Okay, now uh, we need to see some more thing about the tau p, the variable that is called as a tau p. Uh, we have some, now we have some idea about the kp. kp is what is called as steady state gain. Otherwise, how much is the output getting multiplied uh, over and above the input, which is given by tau p. I'm sorry, kp. Otherwise, at steady state, y is simply kp into x. And uh, what is kp for? This thermometer system okay, for KB for thermometer system is simply zero, sorry, simply one. Likewise, for the heater system, also thermometer KP is one. Whereas for the level system, KP is having a value of R. Now, why it is so? Because uh, here the variable output variable is H and input variable is flow. So, input and output of variables are of different dimensions. Whereas here, uh, input output variables are the same, that's why we don't have any multiplication here. 
whereas whenever the output and input variables are not of the same dimension, we'll be having a gain. Gain is not equal to one for level system, whereas this equal to one for thermometer system and uh, this uh, steady tank heater system. Okay. That is, if you write this uh, for uh, this number uh, of thermometer galling now. So therma for, for thermometer we will write like theta of s by theta infinity s which is equal to 1 by tau p s plus 1. It's again check uh, lama. So where is our thermometer equation available? This is available. So here if you uh, uh, substitute uh, or if you convert this into Laplace transform, so you'll be having tau tau s theta s plus theta of s equal to theta infinity s. So if you rearrange for you'll be having uh, theta s by theta infinity, infinity of s. This theta s is output variable of importance, which is t minus t s. And theta infinity is theta uh, t infinity minus t infinity s. Mm -hmm. That's what divide. It is equal to 1 by tau s. Uh, sorry. Uh, tau s plus 1. This is what is coming here, no? So otherwise, for uh, this uh, thermometer system and uh, the stated tank heater system, both the output variable and input variable are of the same dimension, which is simply the temperature. Uh, for such a cases, we'll be having the gain, what is called as the steady state gain of the system is simply equal to one. Otherwise, what is the meaning of that? Uh, if you wait for a longer time, this uh, tank will be attaining the temperature of uh, this steam temperature or the thermometer will attain the temperature of the fluid temperature. That's the meaning of that. Whereas uh, for the level system, uh, the relation between level and flow are given by this way. Yeah. At steady state, uh, outflow or inflow is having a connection between uh, the height. That is height and outflow or inflow. How does that relate? What is the relation? There is none right here. Okay, so this is for the generalization and the idea about this uh, terminology gain. Now we are going to say some more about the uh, thing about the time constant, which is tau p, uh, sometimes called as simply uh, denoted with tau. Hmm? So tau p is the time constant. Let us understand this from, with uh, respect to your uh, thermometer system again. So, what is time, uh, what is the group we have taken for the thermometer system? Uh, clear. So this group MCP by H A, you know, we'll simply write this here again. Equal to MCP by H A. This again we can uh, write in terms of two groups, MCP and one by H A. Uh, you know this MCP refers to the capacity of the system, uh, and one by H A is the resistance of the, uh, the or is convective resistance. No? Convective resistance is given by 1 by H. Of course, A also will have, yes, then only the units will be tallying. So this, this is, uh, otherwise we can write like capacitance multiplied by resistance. Otherwise, this is also a generalization for the time constant. A time constant of a first order system, otherwise only for the first order system will have time constant. That also is applicable. Time constant is given as Capac multiplication of capacitance into resistance. This we'll also try to understand from our uh, steel to tank heater system. For steel to tank heater, we have this V rho Cp by 1 by U AH. Of course, V rho is simply having the units of M, or is it is simply MCP. MCP, uh, this is MCP, MCP, and this is 1 by U AH. So this is your capacitance and 1 by u a h is even the resistance for heat transfer. Otherwise, this group, which is simply the time constant of the process is equal to capac multiplication of capacitance and the resistance. And in what way it is applicable for the level system? That also we try to understand. For level system, we are having this gain as simply coming as r and uh, this um, time constant is coming as a into R. So that is what is A into R. That also we'll write. 
So at this time constant of the level system is A into R. And what is R already? R is already denoted with uh, the terminology called as resistance. Yeah, that's what we have seen in the very first, uh, we have introduced long back. Yeah, this rest outflow is connected with the height. By the way, flow is proportional to driving force, which is the height available and resistance. That is R is simply the resistance of the outflow line. And A, A is the uh, hit, what is it, uh, the cross-sectional area of the tank. So I am keep on moving this uh, slides. Yeah, so A is related to the capacity of the tank. Of course, A into H is the volume. There is a total volume available. And uh, A is always related to the capacity. So A is called as a capacitance capacitance of the level systems and R is the resistance of the level system. Otherwise, this uh, tau P is simply the multiplication of two turbine terms. Uh, one, is, one is capacitance and another is resistance. Okay. So there, is, there is a generalization for the time constant. So now we'll again write this uh, for, uh, we'll write some more thing. This is what is called a cell group block diagram. With block diagram approach we'll do. Write this system, which is Kp by tau p s plus one. That is your input x of s and y of s. So that is this is representing the dynamics of first order system. How uh, this y of s by x of s is equal to Kp by tau p s plus one. This is the dynamics of first order system in terms of Lap Laplace domain. So that uh, is y of s is equal to x of s multiplied by the group. So Otherwise, this is called as a transfer function. That is, this is the transfer function. So this input multiplied by the transfer function is equal to the output. So input, which is entering a block bo uh, box, which is having this group, what is called as a transfer function group. So this input multiplied by this group is equal to output. So likewise, we'll also add some more blocks in the, uh, our control system. And uh, we'll try to or is, uh, we'll try to represent this Laplace transform equations in terms of black diagram quite easily. Okay. Another about 10 minutes only left. So further topics we'll discuss in the coming class. Before that, I give you a topic. Or is what we are going to do with this uh, final uh, form. That is the Laplace transform, transfer function, hmm? what we are going to do. We will again uh, write this O of s by x of s equal to uh, this also we will introduce a term what is called as gp of s or is process uh, transfer function of the process transfer function of the process is simply the Laplace transform of the output variable the Laplace transform of the input variable so what is the lap this is Laplace transform of output Laplace transform of input uh, that is given as uh, the uh, transfer function of the process. This is the transfer function of the process. So, which is equal to Kp by tau p s plus 1. Or is first order system, so not simply you can write like Kp by tau p s plus 1. Now, uh, uh, what we are going to do with these equations finally. What we are interested, uh, we, know, we should know how does the output varies, or is how does the y varies, or is how does the y varies as a function of time for any changes in input. Input is now available in terms of deviation variable, which is x of t and y of t. So finally, we need to get how does the y varies with respect to x. So, we uh, will try to understand this variation for some standard uh, time functions of x. What is called as, uh, say initially the system is at some kind of value and suddenly the input is changing from one point to the another point. Uh, say assume initially the flow is coming at some 10 liter per uh, minute and uh, because of power failure the flow is suddenly changing to uh, say zero so in what in such a case how does the uh, equation will look like a only a flow will be initially uh, 10 and it is going to zero so this is what is called as a kind of a nice function what is called as a step input function step function and uh, this is quite easily understandable step input uh, step function Suppose uh, there is also another kind of function we can give. Uh, initially, the tank is at some level. 
and uh, accidentally uh, some uh, reason the they are pouring some contents large amount of contents what is called as you are giving a impulse so if you try to represent the impulse function in a uh, this graph la podina or nice vertical line i draw this again at a time of t equal to 0 we are giving a impulse இம்பல்ஸ் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் பண்றோம் and uh, we can also give another input what is called sinusoidal input sinusoidal input means the behavior input have has to vary over a function of time uh, in a steady amplitude in a fast phased manner uh, of course these are all normally possible in uh, our chemical industry uh, but if you consider this uh, temperature variation ambient temperature variation uh, for a over a period of about 30 days so in our morning la fluid will be the say the ambient will be at some 30 degrees celsius and uh, afternoon it will be reaching some 35 again uh, in the night time it will go to 25 so you can expect uh, the period of a month time in the winter season of this uh, it will be having a nice sinusoidal variation for the ambient temperature so this is what is a sinusoidal input uh, and likewise we can also give a ramp input that is the flow is changing Uh, our heat supply is changing from initial condition to uh, it's keep on increasing that way you can do so these are all the kind of idealist input functions for these input functions how does the output vary hmm? uh, that's what we'll see in the another two hours of discussion okay and next class la paadi la third hour la we'll uh, discuss at least for the uh, this kind of behavior for step input how does the output will vary சோ இத பத்தி இன்னைக்கு மத்தியான கிளாஸ்ல படிக்க போறோம் ஓகே